Mm. I don't have a receding hairline. TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just have a fat forehead. I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Pillow Time! <laughs> Same, but welcome to the show, babies. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your favorite podcast. This is Pillow Talk. We're joined by Mr. Quickie at They Call Me Dark. I'm your host, Ryan Palmer. I forgot to mention. Nice to meet you. And today, we are joined by one of my favorite internet stars in the world. <laughs> we met her last week. She turned me into a YouTube guy. She did. We're yep. YouTube guys now. Yep. Oh, wow. This is TikTok yep. superstar, YouTuber galore, Instagram super girl, Lexi Hensler. Oh, thank you. You really can't hype me up that much, though. Why not? No, you're a big deal. That's just not true. No, you're a big deal. Okay. You're a big deal. Don't be humble. Yes, don't be humble. This humble. Is not the seat to be How humble. How much with. money do you make on YouTube? That's a sensitive topic. Sensitive? Why is it sensitive, though? Sensitive to who? You make enough to not have an OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of money. Okay, cool. <laughs> and live a rich, lavish life. That's a great point. I, mean, I probably would make more on OnlyFans. Actually, hold on. Let me pull up your story from today, actually. What was it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. What did you do? Oh. She's taking her, do her horse to a fucking dog park. <laughs> you know how much horses are? <laughs> you saw that. Look, well, look at this. I love first you. First of all, that's a Mer McLaren. <laughs> yeah. Very, For, ni very nice car. That's your car? No. Whose car? <laughs> In my friend's car. Mm. Where's the horse? No, she did the horse. She has a lot oh, of money. Okay. She has a lot of money. <laughs> Okay. Speaking of horses. Is that what y'all want to talk about? No, we want to yeah. talk about what you said on last week's episode, yes. our beloved guest, Rochelle Ryan. Yes. To which I'm sure is going viral right now. <laughs> wow. It was a good episode. Viral. Viral. Uh, you came on and you said that you've never had an orgasm. That is correct. I want to get into that. Yes, we have to start from then the Then we'll talk about beginning. your career, your boyfriends. But first, talk about your vagina. The people that never gave you those things we'll get to after. But yes, start we also want you to give, write us a list. Uh, our producer, Terry, will put on the screen. All the guys who failed to give you an <laughs> orgasm. Um, you know, it's not a very long list. Of okay. got, oh, yeah. how, many, how many bodies you got? Um, it's low. Okay. okay. Like we're yeah. talking under like 100? 100? What's your number? Oof. Baby girl. <laughs> Is there anybody in this room under 100? Liar. Sophia. Oh, my Lanta. Well, you're a sweet baby angel muffin is what you're trying to say. <laughs> okay, under under okay. 50? Well, under okay. 10. Oh, single ditch. <laughs> How old are you? Again? I'm 24. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. No, it's not fair. 24, you've probably had 4,000 of you. This guy's nuts. <laughs> Michelle, are, he's got experience. Y'all are wild. Yeah, well, you know. That doesn't mean I'm good. <laughs> How many, so under 10, that's fair. So you've never had an orgasm. But most girls can do it. I'll teach you how, okay? It's it's the circular motion. I, I think, think we got to start with yeah. what type of guy she's into first, and then we'll we'll break it down yeah. from there. Okay, let's do that. What type of guys are you into? Mm. <laughs> See, this this in lies the problem. Uh, okay, <laughs> like tall, skinny surfers. Yeah. Okay, they're cool. Yeah. No. Are and, they? And if they're tall and skinny, they probably have a fucking rope of a dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually. But they got a cable remote. When cock. you're born with a dick that size, chances are you never really had. You to didn't have to work for it. Use it. You good. know. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah, and they don't they don't research online how to make your girl come all day. They're no. in the waves. Yeah, they're in the waves. Of course. Yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> they're fair. too tired by the end of the day. So from my experience, and again, I I don't ever claim to be good in bed. I really don't. But I I always because I'm bad in bed. Rule number one for me: make the girl come, or you're getting destroyed in the group chat the next day. Oh my gosh! So I have to make the girl come. No matter what. I mean, imagine all the guys sitting at home listening to this podcast right now, just knowing, like, wow. You have to. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh my God, if how you, many If girls don't come, they go in the group chat, they say, he yeah. didn't make me come. But you talk. To the whole group. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> Bad press is not good press the all the time. surfer guys clearly don't mind that. They don't care. They're in yeah. the waves. Surfers don't care about anything. They don't so care about you, anything. When are you going to stop waves. orgasms? Yeah, except for waves. Except for waves. Yes. When are you, you going to stop uh, hanging out with the surfer guys? I mm -hmm. did stop. So now what? What'd you move on to? Um, nothingness. No, I feel like you like the little clout boys now. The little oh, YouTube, TikTok, fuck no. bushy hair guys. Fuck no. Taylor Holder guys. That is the most disgusting shit. Like, Do they oh. hit on you, those guys, the TikTok boys? They must. They're, yeah. First of all, they're 12. They're the ones that watch your YouTube Second videos. of all, all I can think about is their parents saying these videos of these 12-year-old boys like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. like yeah. going like, Cringe. I can't do it. Yeah. I you don't even do collab with them. I, like, I their scroll lips. deep on your talks. No, I don't collab with them. You don't. Like, you boycott. Do something for society. Like, do they do what this? is this doing for society? Yeah, they do this. 
Who's the cringiest TikToker? Uh, yes, that's good, hard. Good question. There's, There's one answer. There's one answer. <laughs> what is it? He's the one king one of one cringe, one. known as the king of cringe. Who? Season uh, two, was it? Three. Dark brings him up Two, every two okay. Season two of uh, Too Hot to Handle. Who? Heard of it? Yeah. The king of cringe. Who was that? Chase. Uh, Chase Seymour. Chase Seymour. Oh, poor Everybody Chase. Everybody clap. Have you had sex with Chase? Fuck no. What? Is, is she not as tight yeah, perfectly? That actually leads me to a question. Oh, Nathan, Nathan please. Okay. Yes. Oh. So, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Webb from Talk really Season question. 2. That's a really organic question. No, it is. It fit perfectly. So you said that you're into... Bring the mic, the please. Mic so you yeah. said, going back, she said you, you're into surfers, right? So is there any correlation between you being into surfers and you chased them all now flying to Hawaii for surf lessons? <laughs> you know, I did run into him in Hawaii. Surfing. Uh, whoa. Surfing. You, this is a fact? This is. Yeah, I yeah. Did. I saw it. I had a friend. Mm. Big for, <laughs> good point. <laughs> good point. So there's no correlation whatsoever? Um, no, I'm not into that. Wow. No. The, the douchey, cook. like, womanizing thing. So he's a douche. I mean. No, he's the king of cringe. <laughs> okay. I think he, he could take a couple hats. Nice guy, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the orgasm thing. Back yeah, to that. Oh, good. Let's we're go back. back. You know what I would like to do during this episode? We should bring Rochelle Ryan on. Okay. Since she's here. She's and give her pointers. On how to have an orgasm. Oh, that's not uncomfortable. Well, no, of course not, because it's supposed to feel good, right? So when, when she sits here, she's going to tell you how to masturbate. I think that's how it's going to go. Oh. Are you okay with that? Because I'm willing to give you my seat. Again. I've just never been into like solo Is that stuff. Daddy's lap? Yes, please come. Okay, come or I will. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Rochelle Ryan. Rochelle Ryan from last week's episode, which is viral. <laughs> it's viral. Oh my goodness. Higher. Higher. This is superstar porn star Rochelle Ryan. If you missed Whoa. last week, tune no, in. Not that low. She is a cougar, and Dark is catching a Weinstein case right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so, so can you please teach our lovely guest here, Lexi Hensler, how to have an orgasm? I mean, uh, you have so many questions, right? Where does where do you first start? of all, Rochelle? Do you like internal or external? Internal. Mm. Ooh, I'm like holding his hand <laughs> like this, right, Rochelle Ryan? Come here. You get me excited sitting on his lap. Okay. Jesus. Gotta, it's about her orgasm, not yours. <laughs> what Ours. is going on? <laughs> Ours. Okay. Ours. I, you guys didn't come here to fuck. Give her a pointer on how to <laughs> get so the big old. Many regrets. Jesus. Okay. A lot of it is just, you just have to be in tune with your body and just playing around, just seeing what you like, experiment with different toys. I mean, I personally like a Hitachi because I like it really strong on my clit and I've had like an above the hood, like clit, like orgasm and it's amazing, but it's just, that's just years of experimenting and just playing around. I mean, I remember like when I was like 18 years old, like just rubbing my pussy, like right on like the jacuzzi jets and like, oh, this is what I like. So it's just, every woman's different. I mean, I can also have a G-spot orgasm with a man. Actually, Johnny Sins mm. gave me my first G-spot orgasm. Wow. So. Johnny who, sir? Yeah, Johnny Sins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> this is Johnny. nuts. This is nuts. <laughs> okay. Are you learning anything? I feel like I've learned a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's lying. And to help the guys, this is my trick to, to make the girl orgasm. Tell me if it's right or right, wrong. Right, right. Okay. And be honest. Yeah, I, go, be honest. I go down and I do the tongue on the clit and then I, I do the come here. Oh, yeah. And I press on the bladder. No, uh-uh. No press button bladder? No. That's two no. porn stars in a row that say no to yeah. press on the bladder. Yeah, Nicole yeah. Aniston said no, too. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. but TikTok said it was true, so. Yeah. Yeah. Take the bladder. <laughs> damn TikTok. Uh, Goddamn damn TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Rochelle Ryan, thank you for coming oh, on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you. Dark, uh, put your... Uh, come back anytime. Okay. Yeah. Dark has an erection. Dark has an erection. Hey, damn boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about Let me ask, ask you this, Lexi Hensler. We'll, we'll get away from the... Uh, the orgasm thing. Oh, thank thing. you. Yeah. One day. Uh, who is Ben Azelart? Um, A YouTuber. And you dated him? No. I, I told you your information was going to be wrong. Okay. He's he's hot. I he's look... 12. How old is he? Like 19. Okay. How old hey. are you? 24. She's into the youngins. That's that's not yeah. bad for her. Yeah. So what you didn't the... date him? No. Okay. You guys kiss? No. Nothing. 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 So why did everyone think you guys boy? date? You made TikToks together? That's it? Honestly, like all the young kids, they see a female and a male together and they're like, oh, they have to be mm. a thing. Like they don't understand, like you can like just you be do friends. That. Okay. You do that. Sure. sure. As you just We did. all assume. Yeah. So you never hooked up with Ben. Did he try? No. Okay. No. So he's just Who's a the last boy you kissed? Oh. Was it a good kiss? It wasn't the best. Okay. You really, I, you, really did, you really brought it back PG for the viewers, for her viewers. Yeah. Kissed. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I said boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I, I would give it like a seven and a half. Okay. okay. It's not terrible. All right. Yeah. Who is Andrew Avila? Davila. That's it. <laughs> it's just another YouTuber. And he's just a friend? Yeah, I just film I just film with them. He's hot. And you don't do anything else together? No. Okay. Mm. Dude, they're so much they're like six years younger than me. Oh really? And they act ten years younger than me. Mm. So who have you dated? Anyone that we know on the internet? No, I don't date people in, like that in, do in my job. Mm. Fair. Okay. Okay. Who's I'm sorry. It's really fucking boring for you so guys. No, 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 you're no good. not at all. No, it's, it's, it's just fun. so different gonna... compared to the lives we live. And and you know what? It's intriguing. We're going to crack this code. Okay. What, when's the last time you had sex? Oh God. Um, November. Wow. <laughs> Same with Nathan. <laughs> really? <laughs> and Sophia. October. October. Oh, okay. I feel a lot better now. <laughs> I did nine nine weeks. Recently. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Wasn't on purpose. Okay. How come uh, five month hiatus? I mean, like, I don't like hook up with people. Okay. And I haven't like really been interested in dating anyone either. So is I've just it, kind of been vibing. Is it because you have, uh, when you have sex with a man, you have feelings in your vagina and that attaches to the human that you have sex with? Because I know that's a thing with girls. Mm. No. <laughs> um, that's a good question. Am I no, you're right. You're right, Dark. Yeah. I mean, I'd say dicks get attached too. No. Oh, I'm not saying they don't. I'm not saying they don't. I, My dick has been attached yeah. to a, a wonderful vagina before. See? It made me crazy. Some vaginas are life-changing. Yeah, they really are. So do you flirt with boys? Do you DM them? Do you talk to them all day? That you, Your DMs must be a banana sandwich. I know. What? They must be nuts. Peanut butter and banana sandwich. What does that mean? It's just crazy. Awesome, delicious. You get celebrities in your DMs? Um, you not really, no. Huh. Oh, wow. Because I, I think you're really fucking hot. Yeah, there's, that doesn't make sense. You're really hot. Thank you. And you know, you're known on the internet. You're hot, known on the internet. I mean, honestly, like- Diplo ever DM you? No. Tyga. No, oh, no. First one. This is the first time he's asked if Tyga- If Tyga's DM'd DM a guest yeah. and they've all- we're making They've a, all said yes? We're making a compilation okay, of it. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Wow. Hmm. I maybe, don't want him to maybe DM Maybe because me, you're but... not having sex or orgasms. Well, now it's really <laughs> known too. Okay. All right. I mean, I know it's boring for you guys, but no, I literally just No, it's not boring. Like, no, this is good. Not I literally all. just focus on my job. Yes. Tell us about that. Let's play Mr. Quickie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's break the ice oh here. God. Oh, God. And then, Cole, you better come say some shit, my friend. L later on it. the show, we're going to have a segment called Exposing the Bestie. And her friend Cole is going to no. destroy her. A different type of bestie. Hi, Lexi. Hi. My name is uh, Mr. Quickie. Do you want to know what they call me, Mr. Quickie? I can guess. Go ahead. Look, he's um, got the merch on. Yep. Tripbypillowtalk.com. Oh, wow, Quickie. that's really nice. Yeah. Thank you, you probably finished like tests really quickly in school. No, that's not it for sure. Uh, <laughs> I come quick. Anyways, um, you have uh, 60 seconds to answer as many questions as you can, as quickly as you can, okay. starting now. Okay. Your YouTube is for the youth. What the heck are you doing on a sex podcast? Mm. I have no clue. I didn't know this was a sex podcast. <laughs> Good answer. Google says your net worth is $3 million. Not bad at all. But did you know you can make that in a quarter if you started an OnlyFans? <laughs> um, I am aware of that and I still don't want to. Fair. Okay, we're going to get back to that. <laughs> Favorite male porn star? I don't know any porn stars. Okay. Except for Rochelle. Rochelle. Uh, Johnny Sins is a good start. <laughs> okay. yeah. Golden boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're stranded on a deserted island and you can only choose one thing to pleasure you during your stay. One. Pizza. A, a vibrator with infinite batteries. Love a fire. Two, a guy who you absolutely hate but has a heavy tongue and knows how to use it. Pizza. <laughs> 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 Have you ever heard the saying, if I could be a fly on the wall in that room, mm. if you could be a fly on the wall in the bedroom of one of these three celebrity couples, who would it be? Mm. First couple, Zendaya Holland. Do you know which couple that is? Yeah. Zendaya yeah. Tom Holland. Okay. MFGK, Megan Fox. Oh, Megan wow. Fox. Skeet Kardashian. Pick mm -hmm. one of the... Couples I've, you'd like to be a fly on the wall for while you watch them. <laughs> I don't want to watch anyone do that. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, we, we found the problem. I take you, <laughs> she needs to watch porn. Yes. <laughs> I, oh take it, I take it you've never had VR porn it. sex before. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you watch porn? No. When's the last time you played with your vagina? No. <laughs> wow. It's a valid question. It is. You know what? When is the last time, honestly? No. Okay. No. <laughs> No. Call! <laughs> we need you. 
<laughs> He's over there dying laughing. He doesn't know. <laughs> okay. Why the no OnlyFans? It's just not for me. Have you? Did they reach out to you? No. Because there's a lot of a lot of them are reaching out to like content creators yeah. on YouTube. They offered Azzyland five million dollars, and she and, and it's like only to post her content. She already posts. I mean, honestly, like. I still see myself as like a 13 year old, like nerd with braces. And like, I just like my humor and stuff. No, you're hot. It's you like, are hot. It's like yeah. super dope. Like girls that like do it and find it empowering. Like, I'm just like, I, I'm in like a t-shirt at the pool. Like that's like, mm. fair. that's not, I wish I was like that. It's true. I'm you don't not. have any uh, bikini pics on Instagram. I though. don't. Not one. No. No one knows what your body looks like. No, it's a mystery. My buddy Nolan wears a t-shirt in the hot tub, but that's cause he's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lexi, I do, I do have a little confession. I did tell Dark. I remember we met on Tuesday at the after party. I event. do remember. Right? You probably yeah, you, you met the guy met. that fucked your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yes. Oh Jay, Jay Alvarez. That was so funny. Yes. I was just yeah. trying to get a taco. I was you like, heard that whole thing, right? Yeah, it was fucking great. <laughs> Craziest thing ever. Yeah, to hear that would must have been like, what the fuck are they yeah, talking about? Yeah, I was like, I'm friends with these guys. I'll tell the story. Should I tell the story? Sure. Tell I me if like I'm already, I feel like we already told it. Did we? Just now. No, no, elaborate. Okay, elaborate. My first girlfriend, I... Cheated. Made, made a mistake. Yeah, I cheated. You remember the important parts. I do. Yeah. I do. Cat Landry. God bless your soul. Still best friends. Talk every day. That's good. Yeah. It was good for us, really. In the end. Anyways, so uh, the girl I cheated with posted me on her Instagram story, putting my underwear on and put at its ramp on a check mark because she wanted to piss off her boyfriend who hates me. Uh, so I said, can you take it down, please? I have a three-year girlfriend I just bought a house with. And we're looking at dogs together. We're actually going to the kennel tomorrow. Oh my God. True story. And then, no, left up 24 hours. And 20,000 followers in Ottawa in 2016 was like 10 million today. Yeah. That's a, that's a big fucking account. Big deal. Oh, you didn't tell me that part of the story. Yeah. She left it on the story the whole time. And we were couple, couple. My whole Instagram was me and her. I was just, I was a boyfriend. I was like Bennett Sipes to Carly. Okay. <laughs> if you know, you know. So, <laughs> so, uh, you know, she wants to get back at me. So she says, fuck you. I'm going to Mykonos. Mykonos is very trendy that summer, 2016. Yeah. Everyone's going to Mykonos. So she goes, she, two days later, she goes to Mykonos, hot girl summer, eh, 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 fuck you. And I'm, dep I'm heartbroken. You know, people, oh, well, you didn't really love her. You cheated. No, I really did. I made a dumb mistake. A lot of dumb shit happened that night. Justin Bieber was there. Okay. And I've never met a celebrity before. And Bieber was my Justin. first one. It was Justin fucking Bieber. And, and he, it was her best friend. And Bieber was, uh, yeah, I cheated. Fair. Anyways, she goes to Greece and then she starts fucking Jay Alvarez. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's hot. In his prime too. He's now he's so young. I know that like, was his prime. Fucking right. Dude, if that's that, he was, when I met him for the first time the other night, he's so hot. We he said got, to each other, we didn't know who he was. If he's we went, hotter than that, oh man, Ryan. And we went like this, hey, fuck, that dude's hot. He's a stud. <laughs> and we didn't know it was Jay Alvarez. We just went, that guy's hot. And, and the guy can He was not trying that jokes. night. He was in like a hoodie. Yeah. We're like, fuck it, hair up. We're like, he's hot. Anyways, so they're posting stories together for, she ends up staying in Mykonos for like six weeks and they just get a villa together and they just fuck for six weeks. <laughs> My first heartbreak too. And I'm still trying to get her back like a loser. I'm sending her letters, handwritten, mailed to Mykonos. Oh, like, wow. I know. What Jay, was the postage on that? <laughs> yeah, it was expensive. I was broke back then too. Yeah. Anyways, so for the viewers at home, I was at uh, the after party house yeah. Tuesday. This is before we met and Lexi was behind me. I didn't know. And then I go, I'm like, fuck, I recognize you. He's like, I recognize you too, man. I'm like, fuck. And we stare at each other for like five minutes, eh? Just like analyze each other. How do we know each other? He's like, well, I do extreme sports. Yeah, he's like, I do extreme sports. I'm like, <laughs> fuck, okay. He's sponsored by Rebel or something. Yeah. Mind you, just to add to the story, there's another guy that was standing beside you that you was waiting picture. to yes. get his autograph. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, why is this guy who doesn't know who the fuck he is <laughs> wasting his time? I just want to sign. I just want to signature. So I go, Let's keep going. what's your name, by the way? I didn't even get your name. He goes, Jay. And as soon as he said, Jay, my heart sank. I hit you. 2016 emotions rushed back. Yeah, of course. And I went, Damn. You're Jay Alvarez. He's like, Jay Alvarez. We're like, you're Jay Alvarez. I tried to kiss him. Ryan was pissed. And I was like, I'm like, you you fucked my girlfriend for a whole summer. <laughs> he goes, yeah, that's you. <laughs> True story. He's like, yeah, that's me. He's man. like, yeah, you. that's who you are. You're the guy that dated Kat that was heartbroken when I was fucking her Mykonos. I'm like, yeah. Nice to meet you. True story, right? Yeah, no, I heard the yelling. Yeah, you were right there. I was it trying was to get so a fucking funny. taco. This happened last week. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I remember shortly after that, we had a conversation about how uh, you liked a guy recently mm. and he disappointed you and you walked away in a huff and a puff. Yeah, she did say that. Really? Because yeah. we hung out for a bit. You were like our only yeah. friend there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. yeah. Who was he? <laughs> 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 what? 
It was just a, a nobody. Eh? Say something. It was just oh my gosh, <laughs> Jesus! Y'all like should teeth. Sarah I mean, Meg over here. Y'all should have known what you were doing, bringing me on. <laughs> well, you know what? Either way, it doesn't matter. It's an absolute privilege. But <laughs> do you got anything juicy? Cole, it's time. All right, we're gonna play exposing the bestie. Cole. Oh, he's ran away. Cool. <laughs> friendship just came back. Dude, this is the room. first time we've talked in like months. No way, and you're yes. about to get a falling out. For well, tell us that. That's something. No, we we didn't. We just he he was traveling, and then he offered to drive me to L.A. And then I was like, "Do you want to come sit through me being tortured?" And he was like, "Yeah, sure." <laughs> and and yeah, boy, sure. boys is the torturing. Okay, if you had to fuck Nathan Webb or Chase tomorrow, who would it be? Oh God. Yes, this is a good I mean, game. neither, but definitely not Chase. Neither? So. Yeah. I'm huh. sitting right here. <laughs> you don't think Nathan Webb is hot? He's too muscular. You like skinny That's surfer. That is a compliment. That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I wait. feel like he could, like, crack me like a nutcracker. Mm. Some girls like that. I know. Yeah. Believe it or I not. I don't know. Also, like, I feel like I just picture his baby the whole time. Aww. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he does have a baby. So, what does your ideal man look like? Kinley Webb. Right for the towel. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a no for yeah, me. Yeah, tell us your ideal man now that you're over yeah, the surface. Describe what are you looking what he for? Like. And I know you're busy on work. Thank you. And use celebrities as reference. Oh, okay. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth with tattoos. Nathan Webb. <laughs> He's an, he even talks funny like him, too. <laughs> talks funny? Chris yeah, yeah, yeah. Hemsworth. Have you oh, heard? not Lee. No, Chris. I'm sorry. Yeah. Muscular. Uh, I didn't mean to tell you. You talk funny. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard a Scottish accent? Jinx. You're jacked. I don't know. <laughs> so you like uh, jacked without roids. Not too jacked. <laughs> not too jacked. But tattoos, you said? Yeah. Dark. What about? <laughs> Hair. Ryan. <laughs> On the not muscular enough. I got enough. my girl here already. It's fine. Don't worry. Not muscular enough? You know what? I did tell Lexi, and and we always say we won't hit on girls on the podcast. You kind of fucked that up the last one. R Rochelle offered you a blowjob. Uh, I mean, how could you say no to that? I'm though? only True. human. But I did tell <laughs> I did tell Dark, I said, you know, I kind of like that Lexi girl. That night, I said, you, know, oh. you meet any girls here? And I said, you know, that Lexi girl is really cute. Well, I'm really glad we're friends now. <laughs> Is it the muscles? No muscles? <laughs> no, no. I can, do a, I can do a cycle. I think it's the sex addiction and the porn addiction. Uh, it's and the, the sex podcast. Of course, the VR porn. Yeah. Old bald friend. I know. Yeah, I get it. VR porn oh. or or girl you've had mediocre, mediocre sex with for the rest Actually, of your life. this Choose is how we're going to end the episode. Ready? I could, You're going to explain to the audience why you would never have sex with Actually, no. Us. To answer your question, uh, Dark and I are both going to be very happy tonight because- there's a chance that Dark fucks Rochelle Ryan tonight, but there's a guarantee that I virtually fuck Rochelle Ryan tonight. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's true. That was a good one. That's true. That was a good one. Well, odds are in your favor. Would you, <laughs> um, would you like, <laughs> I really think it'd be funny yeah. if Lexi um, told us all the reasons why she would never have sex with us. That is funny. Oh man, I don't really want to. Bald. <laughs> and? Um, bald. You've had sex with married women. Don't mm -hmm. seem to have boundaries. Mm -hmm. um, we're not exactly talking about a six pack here. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a great personality. Thank you. That's where and I storm you're really it. kind. Yeah, that's where I store my personality. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My okay, gut. my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, okay receding turn. hairline. You're not exactly. No. <laughs> Receding hair. You might be get him. Fucking get him. <laughs> that's not receding, is it? You might be joining Dark pretty soon, so. No. It's the it's because you bleached it. <laughs> Is it really? Well, I did for Coachella. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, Keep I, going. I would say the porn addiction and the VR porn. You're it's never going to be satisfied with that, normal sex after since that. Since the girl it's who's fair. never had an orgasm, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I got your back, dude. Thanks, bro. <laughs> you told me to rest. <laughs> I did. Keep going. Keep going. Less about me. She can't think of any negatives for me. Uh, you're not really my type. You lost Why? a girl to Jay Alvarez. That's kind of disappointing. Who doesn't lose to Jay, though, eh? He's a cheater. <laughs> oh. that's, that's not right fair. In the, right I in never the... cheated on my second girlfriend, Ariane. Okay, but you cheated, period. You haven't cheated once? No. Never thought about it? I thought about it, but I didn't yeah. do it. Like, Everyone so, does. Let me ask you a question. I saw a meme today, actually. Okay. It said, uh, do you think it's cheating if 
You reply if you say happy birthday to a guy you've had sex with before. No, I think it's cheating. You think that's cheating? Yeah, you DM happy birthday to a guy you fucked. Okay, but like, what is that? (laughs) Have you ever like? (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Whore. Really? Yeah. Is it that bad for you? It's disgusting. That's insecurity, okay, dear. Have you not been in a relationship you where you had like a really dope emotional connection? It didn't work out, but it's like you're gonna care about that person yeah, forever. Cat. That's cat. You guys okay. became friends. Are you not gonna wish her a fucking happy birthday? Uh, yeah. I'm with you. I'm that's, best but, friends with all my exes. Yeah, yeah, but that's different. That's different. More like a hot guy you fucked one night and you you, fu- you Oh, were, that's different. But yeah, I, yeah happy but I, birthday to a guy like that. I also cheating. understand where you're coming from, right? Because I cheating. have sex with all my exes too. You do? Yeah. Why am I wishing her happy birthday unless I'm horny? Right, you're cheating. Okay. Cheater, fair. cheater. Lexi, give us one thing. <laughs> one thing. It's, I feel like you're trained by uh Netflix does that. They train their guests. And Chase came on and told us how he fucked a girl from behind while looking at Nathan puking across the hall. But he was trained by Netflix. That's yeah. so upsetting to know. I didn't need to know that. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. It's nice shit that they watch Pillow Talk, by the way, Netflix. It's nice to hear. Oh. Yeah, they, they watched our entire episode. They watched the entire episode. They asked us to ask for permission next time, but they loved it. They loved it? They loved it. But oh, that's you nice. You tell them to put us on a fucking reality show, and I, they'll ask for permission when we say so, okay? Thank you. And keep going. What we didn't we even saying? talk about her career once. Well, I, anyways, Have, have I been there. your most boring guest? Not at all. No, Sarah J. You have a... <laughs> It's girl Sarah J. No, no, no. You are actually. We had a guest come on. You had us very fired up. No, no. This was a fun episode. It was was funny, right, Sophia? I laughed a lot. Yeah, she laughed a lot. It was funny. It was a funny dynamic. Very different from last week's. I can already see. Which is viral. I can already see ten reels. Yeah, there's good clips here. I don't have ever seen hairline (laughs) TikTok. Maybe you just have a fat forehead. I don't know. (laughs) That's a reel. Thank you so much for all the reels. Oh my God. <laughs> I appreciate you. You told me to go in. If you don't think we're still best friends forever and ever after this oh, podcast. Oh, for sure. As soon you as you no follow idea. me, you I'll consider you guys, it. Oh, you didn't follow her? No, I can't. No. Instagram's <laughs> banning me from following too many people. Because you're following 8,000. Yeah, my fucking- Oh, you capped out. My news feed Clout is chaser. lit, bro. Clout chaser. <laughs> Wait, is that a thing? Yeah. You can cap out? 7,500. 7,500. Anyways. I've capped out. Okay. Wow. Well, this has been a pleasure. Did you have fun? (laughs) I laughed a lot. Yeah. I think I'm sweating. Guess I'll have to unfollow Justin Bieber. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Where can everyone find your socials? Um, Everything's just... Which camera? That one. This one? There's three of them. This one? The Nathan Webb one. Or this one. one. The guy that looks just like Chris Hensworth that you wouldn't sleep with, but you want to sleep with Chris (laughs) Too muscular though, right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Everything's just under at Lexi Hensler. With an I. With an I. Oh. Bryce from Too Hot to Handle season one. Did you fuck him? No. So we, got, <laughs> we were almost at the end. Saw you guys on a private so jet together. <laughs> yeah, that was like through a company for Coachella. They're on a private jet together. All cuddly and shit. Wow. I could give you a longer list of people I've friend zoned mm. than a list of people I fucked. Oh, that's the same. Thanks for thanks for having for me. me, guys. Oh man, our fucking thanks for coming on, Ryan Powell. Hey, Dark. This is for you, by the way. I don't know if you know how to use it, but. <laughs> Hey, take that. It's not even been used. Last time I gave a sex toy out, it was a butt plug that I wore for an episode. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, maybe- Selling for millions. Maybe I'll ask Rochelle. (laughs) Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday. Her thumbs the butt plug, cunts.